This is Bill and Grace Bakus, and our one month leave of absence has been approved. We have a lot lined up in this short period of time, and I hope you enjoy our episode. Today we started early. We left when it's still dark out, headed back to Jordan Pond, where its parking lot is jam packed full of cars yesterday. We made sure that we are one of the first ones here today. It's cold and windy, but we are ready for it. We plan on hiking all day today. How far and where? That we don't know. All we know is we're in Acadia National Park and there's a lot of trails around. There's a restaurant here in Jordan Pond called the Jordan Pond House. The only full service restaurant within Acadia National Park. It is located in a spectacular park setting overlooking the magnificent Jordan Pond with the north and south bubble in the distance. It has been said that approximately 60% of all park visitors will make a stop here. Jordan Pond, located in Seal Harbor in town of Mount Desert in Hancock County, serves as a water supply for Seal Harbor. The water is exceptionally clear with an average visibility depth of 46 feet, but this has been measured as high as 60 feet, the most ever recorded in the state of Maine. Swimming is not allowed here. However, non-motor boats such as canoes and kayaks are permitted. The bubble rock. Yeah. There's a viewpoint up there. Okay. Here we go. What we know about the trail while we're doing this right now? Bubble rock. Absolutely nothing. Besides the fact that it has a viewpoint, you can't miss the bubbles from far away and that it goes uphill. He's doing it with a cup of coffee in his hand. This reminds me of the Appalachian Trail. <laughs> you can see all the way out to sea from here. I can't with this. Hiking trails around Jordan Pond range from level to strenuous, and some can be turned into a loop. You want to go first? I'll be behind you. <laughs> I'll help you out if necessary. Okay. I consider this hike to be a little bit technical. I don't think you can hike with your dog here either. Not on this section anyway. See. Yeah, I can do that. No problem, I think. Still goes up. Here's the place. So, yeah, it yeah, goes that I, way. Time for me to put my coffee rug away. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it hasn't been too hard till now. Look, <laughs> <laughs> a bird. Oh, there's another blaze. It goes up more. Up there. We're almost at the top. So we're a little bit higher. We're still looking out of the lake right there. Oh yeah, I see. That's neat. I don't know. This will see it, but whoa! There's the moon. So far, this hike has given us expansive views of Jordan Pond and the surrounding mountains. 
hiking this trail, do expect forested paths, steep rocky sections, exposed granite, and wide stairs. Closed toe good traction shoes are recommended because most trail surfaces are very unlevel. We're not even at the top yet. We're both a little cold because now we're at the top and there's no trees to shelter us much. But the sun is out. Now that we're at the top, heavy winds are inevitable. Popular spot. All right, now we're gonna go back and summit. Ohio. <laughs> Something like that, right? We're at like five, six, seven hundred feet. Yeah, mm. we can continue on that. Right? Ohio is 850 feet on the high, so we're pretty close. talking about are we going there I feel like I was dying. And that was a lot of uphill. Very well maintained trail though. Yes, we are. Alright, going down the bubble divide trail. This is alright. I mean they got some steps in there. Going up I'm sure is much easier. Back at the lake trail, the Jordan Bond path right here. Awesome. Yeah, mm -hmm. so good. Good I know. Okay. Yeah. Should have bought the map yesterday. So we're thinking of doing this one. Well, we are. We are doing this one. <laughs> we are doing this one. If we see a mileage sign, we might do that one.
than Penobscot. Like, obviously, will be. All right, Sergeant Peak it is. So we're gonna go Sergeant Peak first, and then move on to this mountain right here from Sergeant Peak. See how that goes. So we're going that way. Eight. But it's Monday. I kind of want to let things calm down a little bit. <laughs> Although it would be in the sun. I got another boo-boo right here. <laughs> Up here now. Still going up. Even though I'm not summiting Sergeant Mountain unscathed, the hike has been super fun. Yeah. The weather has been great and the views are spectacular. First people we've seen while we're hiking up this mountain. <laughs> Eagle Lake's down there. Oh, wow. What we've been seeing that's really big is the bay by Bar Harbor. Oh, wow. I know, it's so cool. <laughs> One of the good things about hiking up mountains, solitude. That's Eagle Lake right there. And that's Bar Harbor. Summiting Sergeant Mountain is challenging and strenuous, but rewarding. At 1,373 feet, Sergeant Mountain is the second highest mountain in Acadia National Park. Summiting Sergeant Mountain is not rock climbing, but it's also not a walk on a beach. We've been blessed with beautiful weather today. We've been hiking exposed quite a bit. So we're going to Sergeant Mountain Pond, which is 0.3 miles. All right, Sergeant Pond, 0.1. Nice, there's the pond down there. Sergeant Pond is considered Maine's first lake. And now we're down to the pond. The pond that lies between two peaks. Awesome. It is small, tranquil, and beautiful. 
heading to the mountain now. The summit. You can actually see it from over here. Okay, we are. Yeah, that's weird. There's like no blazes. Yeah. Point one. Cool. <laughs> All uphill. With its tall and exposed cliffs looking down on Jordan Pond from the west, Penobscot Mountain, the fifth highest peak in Acadia. Penobscot Mountain sits at 1,196 feet in elevation. <laughs> we finally summited Penobscot Mountain. From all the way over there, you can actually see Sergeant Pond, and that's Sergeant Mountain. And now, we're all the way over here. And here is our view. Wow. That's Jordan Pond! Really cool. junction again and we are going this way half a mile oh man you have long legs you're able to do that really quick <laughs> dude you gotta get out of this place first oh nice oh, I got to, this thing right here oh cool We still got a ways to go down though. Yeah. There's Jordan Pond, right? Yeah. Okay. Long way to go still. Here do we go? Here do we yeah, go? Yeah. There's people on that side. I don't know if this yeah, there's see one it. of the carriage trails. Oh cool. I know, it's so cool. Let me see this for last. Yeah, that's a strong handrail because I'm like <laughs> totally trusted my life. <laughs> Hey, done with the spring trail. And this uh, is the kid. So I'm not sure exactly where the spring trail goes in. Uh, down there. Yeah. Hello. There's the blaze. Oh, okay. I like say it's not straight across, that's for sure. There it is straight across. There's the blaze. We go down. Oh, hold on, let's look at this. There's the spring trail. We were just up there. We decided to go do the carriage trail slash bike trail to go back to the car. We are now seeing more and more people. There's the bubbles. And there's the building. After that epic hike around Jordan Pond, we headed to Northeast Harbor, Maine, headed to Colonel's Restaurant and had some seafood pizza. Stop at Eagle Lake, just north of Jordan Pond. At 436 acres, is the largest freshwater lake in Acadia National Park. It has a maximum depth of 110 feet and an average depth of 50 feet. Fishing is allowed here, 
but a license is required for main residents 16 years or older and for non-residents 12 years or older. The deep, cold, crystal clear, well oxygenated water provides ideal habitat for lake trout. And then we can like regroup. Uh, yeah. We can take Paradise Hill Road over to Park Loop Road and then go to Cadillac. Pretty stuff, bro. Pretty stuff. That evening, we went down Otter's Cove from the campsite. There is a trail from Blackwood's campsite to Otter's Cove. Cool little hike down the ocean.
Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you again on our next one.